your general comment on what is happening right now? It seems like uh, you've been under attack for uh, several days. Yes, Dobby. Um, for those uh, for those who have been misled into thinking that the uh, process of selection for GM by the National Electrification Administration was rigged, or ito ay na shortcut, hindi po totoo yan. And I cannot blame them for making a comment. I really waited for the BOA resolution to come out before I can speak so that I have a basis. And it's not fair to um, be making conclusions out of uh, hearsay. So, sa mga na mislead, sana po, sana po, uh, sapay ko ma, ta dinggan nakmat, and mabasa yung DJ statement, and the BOA resolution mismo. Ta Kat na once and for all, there's no point na pag-aapaan tayo no ti proseso mat kat uh, dinmalan. So yun lang naman, I cannot blame, blame them, of course, for those who, who learned about it. And uh, sana tama na, kasi maraming pwedeng gawin na trabaho ang Beneco. And hindi sana yung GM na position ang tutukan nila, kundi yung trabaho because we owe it to the member consumers, to the paying consumers of Pineco. This has been dragging for quite some time already, months in fact. And uh, wala akong masasabi sa lahat ng, ng nag-comment na hindi mismo nakakaalam ng sitwasyon. Pero sana, sana mabasa nyo din yung side ko po. Ma'am, ano ho ba ang nilalaman at sinasabi po ng BOA Resolution? Just for the uh, information of the public, ma'am. BOA Resolution 2021-47, uh, well, essentially, ang sinasabi doon is uh, along the lines of uh, kami ni OIC Likuben ay nag-undergo ng proseso ng NEA at since na-qualify kami, kasi pareho kami nakakuha ng 80%, na-qualify kami for final interview. Uh, and uh, since na-qualify kami for a final interview, ako po ay mas mataas ang nakuha sa final interview, uh, 94%, and si OI Silicoban ay 82.75% ang nakuha niya na rating dun sa final interview. And the BOA opted to endorse the, higher, the highest na nakakuha ng... Um, ng uh, passing rate dun sa interview. So, yun essentially ang, ang nakalagay sa BOA resolution. Okay, ma'am. Uh, balikan ho natin para po sa kaalaman din ng publiko uh, kailan po nag-start yung process and when you say process, ano ho ba yung step-by-step uh, -step process ng pagpili ng uh, uh, bagong uh, general manager ng uh, Beneco, ma'am? Yes. Um, there will be uh, Una, nag-apply ako noong July 2020. And nag-start lang ang process noong October, around October 2020. Doon sa proseso na yon, may interview ng UP. It's a psychological test. And then we have uh, an essay exams. Uh, we have IQ exams. And then in December, yung um, interview ng selection board ng NEA. So, yun ang, uh, yun, ang, yun ang proseso. And after ng interview, background investigator, investigation ng January. Mm -hmm. After ng background investigation, naset ang final interview ng March. So, yun ang proseso. Um, so, ang, ang, gusto kong, ang, ang gusto kong ipaliwanag ay, uh, I was not just placed there. Ha, hindi po ako nilagay lang ng Pangulo or ng kung sino man po ni Senator Bongo. Halimbawa, and hindi ako dumaan sa proseso dahil it is perceived that since I work with the Presidential Communications Office, it is perceived na kahit anong, kahit na anong memo or, or regulation ay kaya ko ng, kaya kong um, isang tabi para lang makuha yung gusto ko. Hindi naman po. I have undergone the process. I have submitted myself to the process. And I have never made any comments since I applied. Ma'am, uh, reading the uh, comments, sa SOCMED ngayon, may mga below the belts. Uh, how would you respond to uh, allegations and accusations na sinasabi nila na wala daw po kayong technical competence in uh, uh, leading Beneco? Uh, ano po ang comment nyo doon? Yes. I've been, I've been attacked for that since I am not an engineer and I must admit that. Sabi ko nga, um, uh, may the soul of uh, former GM versus a rest in peace. He, he was not uh, an engineer. 
he's not a technical man, but he had been a good leader. And he had brought Bineko to greater heights of achievement. Mm -hmm. And like him and me, um, I think a good leader can, can learn, can learn fast if he's interested to, to learn. Mm -hmm. And um, hindi ayokong pahiyain ang, ang mga naniniwala po sa akin. I will learn and I am willing to learn. Uh, we have technical people at Bineco. And I know naman that OIC Likuban is a good technical person. He's an engineer. Um, and uh, I am willing to work with him if given the chance. Mm -hmm. uh, meron po silang prayer vigil mamaya ma'am uh, in front of uh, Bineco office. Ano pong... Uh, ano pong tumatakbo sa isip niyo about that? Yes, uh, yeah, they sent uh, an invitation to the media mm -hmm. which I saw uh, about their prayer vigil. Wala naman pong problema. This is a democratic country. It's a democratic space. Wala namang problema. But uh, ang masasabi ko lang is if they wanted to protect Beneco per se, not the position of GM, um, that's okay. Uh, and I want to assure them that they don't have to protect Beneco from me. Because I will not, I will not bring Beneco to anywhere else. But I will work so hard para no, para naman po hindi nakakahiya and para naman po in premium na electric cooperative ng Cordillera ay it would reach to better heights, greater heights of achievement. It, it's good now. Beneco is good. It's a prime electric cooperative. If but if there's something we can do, in so far as um, um, generation electric power generation because uh, Benguet is very rich in in um, power resources, then we can move for that. Mm -hmm. Now that BOA has issued the resolution, uh, what's next? Uh, yes. When will you assume office? Yes. The process is, since BOA, um, the members of the BOA are five, and they endorsed me and, and they endorsed me to the BOD, Board of Directors of Beneco. The Board of Directors of Beneco may choose to either confirm the endorsement through, the resol through a resolution, through the resolution, or reject me. Now, if they will reject me, they should have a valid reason for rejecting me. Otherwise, the BOA should cost, will cause my appointment. And yun naman po, if the BOA would, would see na valid yung reason nila, they will reverse themselves, then that is really up to the option of the BOA. Mm -hmm. Meron pong uh, timeline for that, ma'am? I, I think they have a timeline uh, sa NEA, dun sa proseso ng ilan, ilang days for, for BOD to, to confirm or reject the, the resolution. Okay. What is your message, ma'am, to uh, uh, Bineco employees? Um, sa lahat po, and I think I should address this also to OIC uh, Melchor Likuban. Um, first, um, I don't know uh, Engineer Likuban personally. I have nothing against Engineer Likuban or anyone in Beneco. Uh, the position is vacant, and so I applied and subjected myself to the process and um, trust that... Uh, with all the things that have been said against and hurled against me, wala pong problema yan kung that is what you think is best. But as a woman and a cordilleran, I ask you to please let's talk about it, let's settle, and respect the process. Your word to uh, the members and consumers of Beneco, ma'am. To the members and uh, to the member consumers and the paying consumers of Beneco, please trust that... Uh, in so far as the monies of Beneco is concerned, I will be very transparent in so far as my dealings and trust that uh, uh, as a Cordilleran and uh, as someone from the national government who has worked so hard professionally, um, you can always reach out to us and we will partner with local governments and even civic organizations in so far as the monies of Beneco because these are monies not owned by us but it is owned by the member consumers. So, ayan lang po. Rest assured that uh, no money of Beneco will be squandered during my time, if and when given the chance. Okay. Last question, ma'am. What made this uh, filling up the vacancy as uh, the general manager? Bakit bigla siyang parang naging controversial at uminit? Actually, um, Dobby, when I started, since I've never known about, about, I was not so much concerned about Beneco then. Mm -hmm. I was really wondering because I, I've applied, I, I've been from one government office to another since... Since, uh, since I finished uh, law school, um, nagtataka talaga ako kung bakit napaka-controversial. 
naiisip ko lang na, naiisip ko lang, this is my own, own opinion, um, masyadong maraming pera ang bineko to be too controversial for that post. I, but I never really expected it to be this way. Akala ko, gaya lang ng mga ina-applyan ko dati, na um, I go through the process, and pag nakuha ako, marami, pasalamat, magpapasalamat ako. Kung hindi, wala namang problema. But this one is so different. I, I really could not believe it myself. Um, uh, it was just when, when, um, Articles, write-ups were being hurled against me. Na realized ko nga, na na. Bakit? What is it? That's that's so much about that position. Na na kahit tahimik ako e eh, binabato pa rin ako. But you know, um, I have subjected myself to the process. So I would really, I would take yung lahat ng lahat ng intriga, lahat ng lahat ng atake sa akin. Basta huwag naman below the belt because I have children also and ayoko masaktan din sila.